the first book I wrote on this topic was what I call platform scale, exploring how platforms were scaling in a way that defied the traditional industrial models of scale. When I looked at it further, I realized that this was a shift that was happening across industry. That was something that's going to be a revolution, and that's why I coined this the platform revolution, a shift that's happening across industries right now, and especially over the last two years. The idea of the platform revolution has gone outside something that's in Silicon Valley or among the startup circles to something that now applies to every industry. No matter what industry you are in, it applies to every industry fundamentally. Let me talk about what I mean by platforms. When I think of platforms, I think of contrasting them with the traditional model in which industrial businesses used to work, which is what I call the pipeline model. The pipeline model works like this. You have somebody creating value, you have the production side, then you have the assembly side, and then you have the distribution side. Whether you think of products, whether you think of services, whether you think of media, the telecom, any industry, if you think of it, it works in this pipeline model, starting at one end, pushing things out. The success of this model is to push more out at the minimum cost possible. And that is where the mass distribution, mass production model came into being. What we see now is that because of three shifts that are happening right now, fundamentally the way the world works is changing. The way this business model works is not, uh, the way businesses work is not in the pipeline business model anymore. There are three shifts that are happening right now. First, and we, we understand these shifts very well. I just want to bring them together. First of all, we understand that things are getting connected. Everywhere we talk about getting connected. More and more connectivity is happening. First connectivity was just about desktop computers, then all of us got connected with smartphones. Now the things around us are getting connected. So connectivity is a big thing that is happening, a big shift that is happening at this point. The second simultaneous shift that is happening is that every connected thing is becoming intelligent. Because it's not just connected, it sends data, it gets back intelligence, Connectivity and intelligence are working together. The third and really important shift that is happening right now, and all three of these lead us to platforms, the third shift is that the means of production are no longer with the big companies anymore. We are starting to see the means of production moving outwards to more and more smaller companies as well, and smaller businesses are scaling much faster. And so these three shifts together are leading to the rise of what I believe is the platform business model, which fundamentally has a very different structure from the pipeline business model. The platform business model has a structure where the business acts as an infrastructure and enables producers and consumers from outside to come in and interact with each other. The business does not create the product in itself. Even if it does, it does not, its role is not to sell the product only. Its role is to enable interactions around an infrastructure. And so the business stops seeing the product as the end deliverable and starts seeing it as an infrastructure around which interactions can happen. Think of the iPhone. The iPhone is not just an end product which Apple sells and it gets done, but after the iPhone comes out, all of us personalize the iPhone because of our interactions with developers on the App Store. Without those interactions, we used to have the Nokia model which was do years of research, launch 40 different handsets, confuse everybody, and then sell 40 different handsets in the pipeline model. The same thing is happening in many different industries. If you look at how hotels used to work, they used to work in the pipeline model, but Airbnb works in this platform-based model. And we're seeing this happening uh, with increasing uh, energy right now in the car industry, for example, in the energy industry, in a lot of different industries that are moving in this direction. What's Interesting and important about the platform business model, and I'll come back to this repeatedly, is that the platform model is centered around a core interaction between two participants in the ecosystem. Traditional pipeline models were centered around a process. As a result of which, the goal of a platform business model or the structure of the platform business model is to be an infrastructure on which these interactions happen, and the re repeated goal is to keep increasing the quality and the quantity of these interactions. Contrast this with the pipeline model. The industrial model was let us run more than more processes, manufacture more things, and have a quality control department. So the, go the goal there was to increase and improve the quantity and quality of internal processes. 
In a platform model, what you want to do is once your customers, your suppliers start interacting with, with each other through you, you start improving the quality of those interactions, and that is how you scale the business. You improve, increase the quantity of those interactions, and so you scale the business.